couple years ago, almost two years ago now, I was a lot more heavy set. I lost like almost 30, 40 pounds or something. And I needed a wheelchair at the time. And every wheelchair is specifically tailored and fitted to you. However tall you are, how much you weigh, wide, whatever. And at the time, I guess maybe my legs were wider and my body was wider. Uh, so they fitted this chair to me and a year went by and I lost this big amount of weight. And I tried to explain to them that I'm not going to be, you know, the same size I was before. I'm going to need a new chair, but it almost takes a year process to make chairs. So I was too late at that point. And they only pay for a chair every five years. So once I got that chair, I gotta wait a couple more years. Now this chair is too big to get in the thresholds of my doorways in my apartment. I can't even get in the kitchen at my mom and dad's house. Can't do anything. Can't get in my bathroom. I have to jump into another chair just to do anything. And my original chair from almost like 2014 is broken. So I can't do anything with that. Uh, so yeah, I gotta just do what I gotta do. I want to jump in these streets and sing some songs and let me get the money I need for some. Some new wheels. Uh, once I get the chair, I'm gonna get this one here, which is an Aero T. It's a very nice chair. It's just too big for me. So I'm gonna give it to somebody bigger than me who really needs it. And anybody that knows these chairs, they're like $10,000. So yeah, somebody really does need this chair out there and they're gonna get it. And hopefully I can get mine too. Um, just even getting it, getting into my apartment, thresholds, can't get in the bathroom at all, uh, getting in and out of the car, I take the kids to school, whatnot, even just doing a normal thing, like trying to just go to the giant and get some groceries for the house. It's so much harder, because this chair is literally like 40 pounds, it's unreal, my shoulder's already messed up, I can't do anything with this, like... I have to have help doing everything as opposed to my other share where I was just super independent. Anybody that knows me, like, you know that I don't, you know, I'm different. People don't see the wheelchair usually when I'm coming through. They just know me. But with this thing, it just kind of strips me of that independency. I hate asking for help and stuff. I don't want to be that guy from Scary Movie. Like, I can do it myself, but... Yeah, that's real life. Uh, well, I already went through insurance for this chair, so they'll only pay for it every five years. Four to five years, unless you go to your doctor, and I've already gone to my doctor. We might get some flips with him too, because I got a, a doctor's appointment coming up. But he's fighting for it too. It's not just about going to the doctor and having him write the new script. It's, your insurance does not want to pay. It will make you go through hell. So it is what it is. I got the state insurance. Sucks. I mean, just by doing what I've always done. I mean, you got to be confident in who you are and just whatever you're doing. Show people that no matter what your predicament is, you determine your reality. I'm going to just keep on. I'm an advocate for it. Handicapped. Hopefully, I, I think I am at least. I know some people that look up to me, but I know some others that I look up to for sure. And I hope to get on that type of time with the inspiration and motivation and whatever like that.